for their arrest. Back here at home, Israel is warming up to the idea of harnessing the sun's energy. Arava Power, a private company, has unveiled the country's first commercial solar field. The facility consists of several dozen rows of five-meter-high solar panels in the Arava Desert on land leased by Kibbutz Keturah. The field costs $30 million and will use its 4.95 megawatts to supply electricity to three nearby kibbutzim. But Arava Power sees an even brighter future for Israel's solar revolution. The company plans to build 50 similar fields within the next three years. And although the total price tag could reach $2 billion, its founders believe the potential profit and energy-saving benefits far outshine the cost. Hopefully, 60% of Israel is desert, and um, we have uh, only 15 days of clouds down in the uh, southern region here in, in the Arava. So we, in the spot that we're in today has 2,247 kilowatt hours per square meter, which is more than double, let's say, Germany, which is the world leader in production of solar energy. Israel relies 95% uh, on energy imports uh, for electricity production, for transportation, for oil, oil imports, so it is very important for the, uh, Israel's energy security to invest more and to develop more uh, renewable energy technologies. Entertainment took on a whole new status.